What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have a new locker code and we have some market talk. I know you guys love both. So, we are going to make a combined video with this man. Yes, today, guys. Locker code, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. Let's get 100-something likes on this video. That would be goaded. And yes, we got a Showtime locker code. We're going to type it in for you guys. Make sure... Let's get 100 likes, man. That's all I asked for. Make sure to drop the sub. We're so close to 11.5K. And obviously, we're on the road to uh, 15K. So make sure to smash the sub. We post a lot every single day. Here it is, man. Shout out to Denver Struck for um, giving this out. I don't know if, hit, if it's his code or something. But we're probably going to get some other limited time codes. So this is definitely a limited time locker code. So you guys should probably type it in ASAP once you see this video. If you're, like, not home. You should probably run home and type it in but yeah here it is man um if you guys need mt also make sure to hit me up on twitter i do have very good deals for mt and here we go here's the code showtime dash out consumer dash ks whatever and uh yeah you can pause the screen check that out and then we're gonna go over some market here it is man we're dropping the ball we're aiming for anything but fan favorites um i would love the takeover one because if i get Giannis, man we're out here balling so let's see what we could get this is a pretty good code if you get some fire i don't want the fan favorites we're gonna get the you know what honestly man these packs are terrible in my opinion like they're really not good we're gonna just hope for the best um i guess it's a standard one we're gonna see if it's a guaranteed one in this video but that's a pretty big w then we're gonna get us some market um, hopefully we get some fire, man. These packs did not treat me well whatsoever. Yeah, they're, they're just, they're just so bad. It's like, it just makes me sad, you know? These packs are just not it. There's, there's not it. Yeah, my MT is low. It's rough, but yo, let's get into some market. The fact that Jimmy Butler and Shaq is only 140k is honestly kind of crazy. I think I need to get Goat Kareem because how much is Rashad Lewis? I'm about to sell the whole prime set and then get goat kareem honestly besides rashad lewis going for 1.5 which is the biggest bust so kareem is only really worth two mil and he's obviously the best center in the game man um he really is no one could even compare to kareem chris weber going for a hundred thousand mt and rashad lewis um he's a lot of mt so that's the big l of the set in my opinion, one of the best cards in the game. I'm not even honestly. His defense isn't good enough, but it's Rashad Lewis. He has a butter jump shot. He's been good every time I use him. I would probably run him at small forward. But honestly, this set, okay, you get Chris Weber, who is low key Galaxy Oval AD. Not even gonna lie, comparing him, it's somewhat there, somewhat there. Not the best. He's definitely somewhat there though. Comparing him to AD. Then we got the Jimmy Butler, who's very cheap. 100,000 MT. One of the best defensive players in the world. 98, 98. So he's definitely usable too. But honestly, I, I feel like I would only spend 2 mil just to really use Kareem. Honestly, Kareem is really the one that everybody's going to go for. Um, the set is around 2 mil, like I said. So it's up to you, man. Galaxy level Shaq really isn't usable either. I mean, yeah, he's usable... It's just the fact that his three-point shot isn't there. And in this stage of the game, everyone uses like three-point cheesers. So he does have very good speed. But I'm just saying, we also need a Sabonis update, man. But uh, let's get into some market, man. I know you guys are here for that. So is the market crash? We're going to go over it, man. We got Kawhi Leonard. We got Pascal Siakam going for under 100K, man. I, I don't know how. In my opinion, he's one of the best forwards in the game. I'm telling you, man, this Pascal is legit. If you guys don't use him... First off, he's a finals MVP. I would think he'd be... A, not, is he a finals MVP? I don't know. He did mag on the finals. I think he is. Probably Kawhi is. But this guy is amazing. Okay. His speed is astonishing. And I think if you guys really need a power forward, definitely go pick him up. Another player I want to talk about. Eddie Curry, man. Eddie Curry has been talked about all throughout the year. And now he is 
literally, like, everybody is talking about the man, and he's so cheap, and he's still, in my opinion, one of the best centers in the game. I don't care what anybody says, his jump shot's butter, he moves fast, he's literally Shaq for 40k, and if you guys didn't sell him for 90k, you took a huge L, and do you think his price will go up, Bugs? Honestly, at this rate, probably not. I think his price stays to around 50, 60k. Is it worth the investment? It really depends how much you get him for. Uh, it really just, it's crazy, man. The market's just going to continue to crash, man. If you have any, like, pink diamonds that you think is valuable, they're not valuable, man. They're not valuable anymore. The market is dead, 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 dead. And yeah, man, honestly, I think I'm going to sell my whole entire team today. I, think, I feel like it's a good day, too. We got Giannis back up around 400,000 MT with the shoes and contract. Honestly, I definitely think it is time to sell, honestly, mostly every single card, prime set, whatever you want to do, because honestly, I think Paul George has the chance to drop to around 400,000 MT. I think Kawhi has a chance to drop to 400,000 and 650K. Wow. I think it's time to put up a lot of these Prime cards, man, before Super Packs come out. If you guys don't know, when Super Packs come out, their prices do drop either prematurely. It depends how much hype it gets, okay? So if Prime players do drop, if the Super Packs drop, there's hype on the Super Packs. Usually they drop the day before. Usually the prices drop the day before, and you want to pick them up the day before because the premature crash is always a lot bigger for some reason. So like I said, man, Paul George has 650,000 MT, okay? 650 KMT, we got um, Kawhi at 400, about 500K, Lamar Odom about 270, and wow, he's around 220 probably, and we got Luka around probably 220, so these cards, man, yes, they're good cards, I would honestly sell them now, I think they have the height, and then right before the net, when this next player comes out, they also are going to rise, so I say sell them now when the super packs get dropped, probably this week. Pick up some players. There's going to be a big Prime week this week, I believe. So we're going to make a lot of MT off these Prime players. You just got to play it right. Um, not only that, man, the Pink Dime filter has been going absolutely crazy. The Also, another very OP filter is obviously the Showtime filter, man. People have been sniping out Rashad Lewis's like nothing. I've seen a ton of Rashad Lewis's pop up on the Showtime Opal filter. Yes, Chris Webber does ruin it. You're probably going to have to sell him out. But then again, you could just go to two guard, shooting guard, Opal, Showtime, and then hope for the best because, um, oh wait, he's a small forward. So Galaxy with Showtime, we got Jimmy Butler on here, and we also have, what's his name, Rashad Lewis on here. So if you end up do getting one of those, that's a huge W, man. I'm telling you, you're going to make a lot of MT off that, especially off the snipes. As you can see, man, if you snipe out Rashad Lewis, you're an instant MT millionaire, so if I were you, man, Showtime, Galaxy Opal, Small Forward, Snipe Filter, if you have 100,000 MT, definitely going to be the solid one to do. I'm just going to say it's going to be a very solid method. Small Forward, Galaxy Opal, Showtime, definitely try it out. The Pink Diamond one is also very good for Budjo Ballers, man. Showtime, Pink Baller, Pink Diamond, I should say. Th these Snipe Filters are going to be very deadly. Um, yes, Penny's cheap. Yes, Danny Manning's cheap, but you could probably still snag a ton. I'm just going to enable out my boy Penny, I mean Nate Robinson. And just honestly, you get the, you get it. Honestly, I think they also do rise. I don't think they stay at 6K. I don't think pink diamonds are going to be 5K, man. Um, I honestly say, if you want to make MT, pick up Penny Hardaway's for like 4,500, 4,800. I say it goes up to 6K. And you can make about 1,000 MT clean. If you buy 100 of them for 500K, you sit on them, you make 100K. Pretty good, 20% profit made, even with the reduction. So he's a pretty good investment. Honestly, bro, Nate Robinson's high key slept on. I think Nate Robinson's also a very good investment. At 4,600 MT, I'm telling you, man. Yes, he's 5'9", but I'm telling you, he has very good animations, very good stats. Yes, he's very small. It's not the point, man. I'm telling you, I've used this card. Gameplay-wise, he played very well. And honestly, there's a lot going on in this game, man. I just want you guys to get ready. There's probably going to be a sick prime set dropping this week. Um, also don't pop these packs because I'm going to show you why they are the worst packs ever. I pulled about 400,000 MT worth. They are so trash and I want you guys to stay away from these packs. But yeah, other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. Hopefully we get some more codes later on. And yes, guys, that's all we got. Hope you enjoyed. We're going to pull one more pack before we do in this video, just to show you the terrible odds we do have. It's usually just a diamond player like that. And yeah, man, just don't waste your MT. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.